1966. 1966. See, um, I can't answer that question. I couldn't answer it then and I can't answer it now. <laughs> Terrible. Reading and thinking about going out into nature, but I'm not actually doing it often enough. Probably something to do with my viola, because <laughs> I'm always the happiest when I can make music. A whole list of favorite composers and players. I can't put a small number out. I'll say Bach. <laughs> you try to narrow me down, that's so difficult. That's very difficult. My favorite piece is the one I'm playing today. So today it's Berlioz and actually in the new uh, version of Stephen Mackey's extension. Let's see how that will come off. <laughs> Interesting for me at the moment is Beethoven because I still am working my way through his late works. It's, yeah, I'll, I'll keep Beethoven for the coming year. I think it's going to be my favorite, favorite composer. <laughs> to do the best possible and to be a good person whenever possible. Not getting affected too much from people's aggression or silly behavior. <laughs> I think my strength is to be able to balance influences from outside within myself so I can still keep going my way even if things come from outside. Oh, yeah, balancing. Dancing, listening to loud music, being with many people in a small place, so everything that modern people love to do, <laughs> that's not me. Anything with a handcraft. Um, woodworker, jeweler, um, any, anything handmade. If you mean it in a professional way or dream of what life would be, I, I didn't have one. <laughs> Good whiskey. Not much, but I would hope to be sometimes a bit more polite or diplomatic. I think I did some, not, yeah, sometimes I was a bit hard on other people. Difficult to define the word success in music. I think there are many ways to be successful, but the main thing is to be a happy person and to do what you believe in. I've always known, I don't know why actually, but I knew always what is good for me and what is not good for me. And if people suggested things that I didn't want to do, I just would say no thanks. So I went very much with my gut feeling and I think that is also my strength. Depends what you want to achieve. Some people put money up there, which I think is so strange. Being a musician, I think being successful for me, it's being able to do projects that I like to do with people I like to communicate with, playing the pieces I want to play. So this for me is being successful. And then if there is a nice response from the audience and promoters, it's double nice. And if you can make a good living from it, it's triple nice. But that shouldn't be the first aim to go for it. I guess the first solo album with Bach and Reger that settled uh, such a new collaboration with a small label in Germany, Murius Records, and that first one with the Bach Suites 1 and 2 and Reger Suites 1, 2, 3, that was a very, very big and important project. And I'm still proud of the result. So I hope that there is a good future of classical music. I think there are many wonderfully trained musicians out there who are looking for jobs and to be able to do what they love. There is also audience, but sometimes we don't find each other. I hope that the true music lovers, both on the playing and the listening side, are the ones who will stay and not the ones who look out for the big business in music, because that's my big fear that the classical music is seen too much as a business model and I think that's the end of it. <laughs>